Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Michael Introvertolo, and I'm the marketing manager at Solution Systems. And today we're going to be taking a look at Project Madeira, which was recently released by Microsoft, and it's really geared toward the small business owner. So right off the bat, we can see that this has the look and feel of other Microsoft products. You have the ribbon here at the top. You have the activity tiles that were recently actually really made really popular by the release of Microsoft Dynamics 10. And you can see that everything is laid out very well, very easy to read. All right, let's dive into Madeira. So first off, right now we are under the business manager, business manager uh, role center. You can choose between five different role centers from over here in the settings portal. You can choose between the accountant, business manager, sales order processor, sales and relationship manager, administration of users, user groups, and permissions. Uh, you know, we do not know if there's going to be any more role centers, users that are going to be added in the future. But that being said, this software is pretty much made just for small businesses. And you, you're likely not to need much more than the five that are listed here. So if you click one and you want to change which uh, role center user that you choose, you're going to have to restart the whole Project Madeira. But I'm going to stick with Business Manager just so I can keep showing you what is going on here. All right, so if you're a small business owner and you acquire the software, the first thing you want to do is go to Assisted Setup and Tasks. This is where you can choose to set up your company, migrate your business data. Uh, with the business data, you can migrate from pl pl places like QuickBooks, Excel, and CRM. You can set up your sales tax, your email, office add-ins, email logging. This will probably be where you first start out. All right, let's take a look here. Here we have the activity tiles. What these do, these really allow you to drill down into different features. You know, in fact, all of Madeira is really laid out so that you can click something and drill down into different features. We can choose if we want to see sales, purchases, payments. Um, like your Microsoft Madeira has also included the these uh, colored tile indicators. You know, what's good about this is that you can actually choose to set different colors for different things, different warnings. All right, from there, you have your KPI. Uh, you can choose different graphs to see. You can also choose between the period length that you'd like, day, week, month, quarter, or year. From there, we're going to go over here to favorite accounts. And this is really to help you keep an eye on what really matters most to you. You can see your checking account balance, savings account, petty cash, a whole bunch of different options. Over here, you have your trial balance. You're able to see different periods. there you have your report inbox so this is if you have reports being generated let's say on a periodic basis you'll be able to see all of them right here and then over here we have in the sidebar navigation we have customers if you click their number you'll be able to see the customer card bunch of different little different little things to view and on the side you have more of the Microsoft tiles that you know like I said before allow you to drill down into different information same with vendors pretty much the same layout all right now with the items items is really nice you can see that there's different layouts you can choose from over here to see Personally, right now, I prefer the the bigger picture layout. I just think it looks nicer. 
Um, but in certain views, you can change the sort order up here. Sending, descending. And what's nice about it is you're able to create new items really easy. Let me show you. So you can choose between an item, item number, sales tax, service, service number, sales tax, and freight. freight. Uh, for the purpose of this video, we're just going to do a regular item. Description. Let's call it uh, Shoey Shoes. Inventories over here, basic unit measures, pieces, quantity on hand. We can change it to, uh, let's change it to 10. Stock out warning, yep. And down here we have price and posting. So we want to make these uh, $85. five dollars you can add special prices and discounts profit percentage unit cost tax group code you can add labor materials supplies uh, let's put this down as taxable only pick furniture <laughs> we will be the only furniture store selling shoes all right so when we exit out of here we should be able to see that there they are shoey shoes it automatically generates an item number for you. You can see I created a product earlier called Trav Chans. It gave me the item number 1000. This product is now 1001. Very, very nice, very simple, and very easy to use. All right, so if you come up here and you click this little carrot next to the word home, it's going to show you finance, sales, purchasing, and, th and this is really where Madeira drills down into giving you lots and lots of information. So if we click finance, you'll see here every general journals, chart of accounts, account schedules, payment journals, payment reconciliation journal, bank account statements, whole, whole bunch of different things. All right, so if we click, let's see here. All right, the account schedules or the GL account categories. What's really nice about it is, is that Excel is integrated directly into Project Madeira. So we can choose to open this in Microsoft Excel if we so choose to. And it pops right up. There it is. Let's skip this. There you go. You can see generated a Excel report. All right, let's take a look at sales. Same thing. You can see sales quotes, orders, invoices, a whole slew of different things. Over here on the right, you can see customer statistics. If, if, depending on which which uh, you know option you choose, customer card, very nice. This document has not been posted. Are you sure you want to exit? Yes, I do not want to post it, so we will exit. You can also see purchasing. Same premise on the right. You see the tiles that allow you to drill down into certain things. Here's posted invoices from London Postmaster. All right, and there's one more feature that I want to show you, and this is the online help feature. So what's nice about this is, let's say you want to find chart of accounts. Type in chart of accounts. Here are your options, finance, department. There it is. It's really, really simple. So what what is my opinion on Project Madeira? Well, Project Madeira is a, you know, it's really a wonderful tool for small businesses. It's simple to use, it's efficient. 
But right now, I think it needs more reporting capabilities to compete with QuickBooks and some of the other small business ERP software that's out there. Of course, I'm assuming that this will change by the release date. Uh, the release date for this, I believe, is scheduled for sometime in the fall of 2016. Microsoft claims that many more features are slated to be uh, released between now and then. And uh, I also expect this to be priced very competitively. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.